Hello everyone and welcome back to Nintendo Prime and we are going to talk to you today about Nintendo potentially launching a new symphony. Now for those who aren't aware and I don't know how you can't be aware at this point given how long it's been running but the Master Quest aka Symphony of the Goddesses it has been a masterful piece of symphony work based on The Legend of Zelda that has been going on essentially every single year except one since the release of Skyward Sword. And Skyward Sword marked the 25th anniversary of the series. So, we are, what, about six years later from that point, and yeah, there's been a Zelda symphony going on all year, every year, worldwide, except for one. They did take a year off. Now, Jason Michael Paul has been the one producing that symphony, uh, but it appears that he wants to do more than just Zelda. Earlier this year, Jason Michael, Jason Michael Paul said he wanted to make a Nintendo All-Star concert in a new interview with Game Industry. Uh, he apparently has also stated that he, he's created a proposal for a Super Mario symphony that he hopes will stick. Unfortunately, Paul noted that his idea for a Super Smash Symphony won't happen since it's too complicated. Here is Paul's exact words on this. I recently put together a really nice proposal for a Super Mario Symphony, and we'll see. Hopefully it will stick. I also had another concept for Super Smash Symphony, but that's not going to happen. It's too complicated. It. So, one... Uh, yes, all of my yes on a Mario Symphony. Uh, if the Zelda Symphony is anything to go by, a Mario Symphony would be fantastic. Uh, you know, th there's been variations of Pokemon Symphonies over the years, uh, so like an official one that runs year round would be fantastic. I'm all about this, Jason Michael Paul. I really hope that your proposal for a Super Mario Symphony gets approved by Nintendo because I feel like all of Nintendo's amazing music should be represented. What well, what I don't like. Uh, about this though is it, Paul said he wanted to make a Nintendo All-Star concert earlier this year uh, and then he said he also had a concert for Super Smash Bros. Symphony but it sounds like it's not going to happen it's too complicated it that bothers me a little bit I don't I, I, I'm not putting this on Jason Michael Paul it might not be his fault uh, the complications behind a symphony like that are going to have to do with IP rights um Gathering the music for different Nintendo games really shouldn't be that hard because the source material should all come from the same place. Of you know, Nintendo of America should be able to provide him the material he needs to create a symphony out of it. But you know, to, I shouldn't say to create a symphony out to create orchestrated music out of it for a symphony to play. But what I I don't get is why. This has to be something that is just Mario, just Zelda. As much as that's awesome, because there's so many video game series that Nintendo owns that deserve this kind of treatment that are never going to have a shot at a full concert series. And I'm not saying that this to rain on the Super Mario Symphony Parade. Yes, absolutely, do a Super Mario Symphony. It makes a ton of sense, uh, especially coming off of Super Mario Odyssey. If they could launch it next year, that would be amazing. Imagine having in the opening act me and Jump Up Superstar performed live with an actual singer. That would just be an amazing way to kick off a stellar show, or if they want to end the show that way. I feel like it's, it's, it's a good way to kick it off, though, you know, especially with how upbeat it is, get people all jazzed up, you know, literally jazzed up for the rest of the amazing Mario Symphony concert. But here's the thing. I want Nintendo and Jason Michael Paul and you know whoever else they wish to work with to come up with an all-star concerts concept, a Super Smash Bros. symphony concept, as it were. You know, there's so many series out there that deserve love. You know, imagine some of the very best pieces of music from the Mother series being represented. There's never going to be a, an actual concert just for Mother music, but an all-star concert could feature Mother music. And, and, I mean, that could bring certain Mother fans to literal tears as they think about their adventures uh, in Earthbound. And you have to consider songs from Metroid, you know, another series that might not be quite popular enough to run on its own symphony, but magical pieces of that featured uh, just amazing. Uh, obviously, you know, you have your Zelda and your Marios, uh, you got your F Zeros you could throw in there. Well, it really, it, there's so many. Pokemon, uh, there's just so many franchises. And I understand the complications with a Smash Bros. one because then you have to consider like Mega Man music. 
Uh, you'd have to consider, you know, it, even possibly Final Fantasy VII music since Cloud was in the most recent one. And I understand that there's some complexities with that, but I don't think, based on how many video game symphony concerts have happened worldwide, I don't think the complications behind it are as bad as as Jason Michael Paul might think. I feel like if he just gave the proposal to Nintendo, Nintendo themselves could do the legwork to contact Square Enix, contact Capcom, etc., and get permission to do a full... Because like a Super Smash Bros. Symphony, to me, is essentially what I want to happen. I, there should be a yearly running symphony that is a culmination of... All of Nintendo's goodness. I mean, really, there should be a yearly running symphony worldwide that's a culmination of all of gaming, be it Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft, blah, blah, blah. Bring all that together in a symphony. But, you know, barring how long that would have to be to satisfy all crowds. That would have to be like a six-hour performance. Um, if you're just going to stick to more Nintendo, then fine. Nintendo All-Star you know, performance, bringing all that together to me, just, oh, man, it's everything I want. See... Here's the thing. I have never seen Symphony of the Goddesses. I know. Just get, get mad at me now that I have not seen it. Uh, I'm actually mad at myself. It, they did play in Minneapolis. I either think it was last year or earlier this year. I can't remember. Uh, Minneapolis is the closest one I would be able to attend. It's about an hour and a half drive. Uh, easily something that I could have done um, should you know I had the money and the time to do it. Unfortunately, I didn't have the money or the time to do it at that time. Uh, but it's something that I regret that I haven't seen uh, because I'm obviously a massive Zelda fan. If you guys have followed this channel for any amount of time, you probably know that Zelda is my favorite franchise, and going to a, a symphony like that would have probably brought me to tears. Um, just how impactful so much of this music and these games and the memories that would wash over me uh, and how these games have impacted me emotionally, helped me deal with depression, um, help me deal with so much stuff in my life. Uh, I, I was also almost afraid to go to the symphony because I didn't want to be that guy that while everyone is cheering, I'm just bawling my eyes out um, at how beautiful this all is. Uh, and it just, just a magical moment it could be. And heck, for you guys, maybe it would make for entertaining you know, footage because you have my friend record me as I'm just can't control myself. Uh, but I never got to go, just like I didn't get to go to the... Uh, I forget what it was called, but there was that Zelda um, uh, escape room thing they had going on. That was down in Chicago, uh, and I had a chance that I could have went to that, and I didn't go. Um, and I, I kind of regret not going to that either, even though that seems a little bit more low-key, a little more homegrown. Uh, it's still something I would have liked to have attended um, and participated in. So I, I don't get a chance to go to a lot of this stuff. Just what happens, you're a family man. I'm a family man anyways. Um, but, heck, the escape room thing, I could have took my kids to. That might have been really fun with my kids. But it, this is just, I, I really hope that not only Nintendo grants him the ability to do this Super Mario Symphony, which, it, look at the success of the Zelda one and how many years it's been running. It, it should be a given that it should be followed up by a Mario one at this point. But I'm hoping that he can get his dream of the Nintendo All-Star concert because, there is just so many franchises that will never be represented in an, in an orchestration live otherwise. Uh, and as amazing as all of the fan mixes and fan reorchestrations of this music are on YouTube, nothing compares to a live performance by a real symphony. Uh, it's just... Oh. Man, I mean, I'm literally like having wet dreams here thinking about it. Um... Yeah, you guys let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. You know, Is there a specific franchise you would like to see them make a symphony out of? Uh, what franchises, if they were to do a Nintendo All-Star concert, would you like to see them make a symphony out of? Uh, you know, is there, in my dream of this Nintendo All-Star concert... Uh, and apparently, potentially, Jason Michael Paul's dream as well. What franchises do you want to see represented? And not only what franchises, what pieces of music would you like to see represented? In fact, tell me the names of those musics, and I don't know. Maybe I'll find a way to find some fan mixes of them and mix some of them into my videos uh, for like the next week or so. Just, just to throw a little, little background noise and a little flavor in there and a little love to you guys for suggesting some fantastic pieces of music. Um, anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, you know what to do, and if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button, 
subscribe for more content. And I will catch you in the next one.